Hi, welcome back to um, my This Eye 360 build rig build. So I've fitted the lenses and the cameras are focused and everything works. Um, cameras record reasonable footage. Um, so um, I've got a day to build a mount for them. So we're, we're going to use all three cameras. What I've done is uh, I did a little template in a vector program. So these are the uh, cameras. That's my center point. Obviously you've got your triangle there. I've just um, spray adhesive these on onto a uh, oh, 10 millimeter thick aluminium. This is just an off cut I had lying around. Um, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to cut these out on a bandsaw and um, it's going to take a little bit of tricky dicky. Um, so I'm going to take you along for the journey and we'll see how this progresses. So I'm going to go to the uh, bandsaw and cut these out. And it fits. So I just got to grind away a little bit more at it. Um, hopefully, get some more in. Might do um, hand filing just to finish it off. Okay, so after some head scratching, um, I'm going to use these uh, tripod mounts on these cameras. So it's uh, going to be a bit tricky. The way it's going to work is um, I'm going to use this, I'm going to cut it basically along this line about four mil 
it's going to be a thin four mil outcropping so it's just going to be this triangle and thin L shapes um, on here so we're going to get rid of these big big sort of circular pieces So that's basically how it's going to work. These two pieces will get joined together. Um, I'm going to drill some pilot holes through it. And yeah, drill some holes in there. Hopefully get the, the measurements right. So these will basically work like tripod mounts. Still really bloody hot. Okay, so obviously I'd sanded this um, triangle down a bit further than I needed to, um, which means it's a little bit smaller. But um, I don't think it's going to be very critical as long as I center it on here. Uh, it should be just fine. So yeah, so the next step now is, I guess, to glue these guys together test fitting along the way just to make sure everything's hunky dory and uh, basically drill all those holes so triangle goes on there this goes on top let's just get one of the cameras Okay, we've got a problem. So there's the uh, thread. As you can see, the, um, the mount is sitting a little bit too high. What to do? What to do? <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this out. So back to the bandsaw. Okay, so I've sanded this piece down and check to make sure that the camera fits, which it does. On all three. So the final assemblage is this piece, spacer, and then this piece on top. So that's going to basically screw on to that. I'm um, going to basically drill this straight through and then tap it from the bottom. All right, so we just need to center punch that and come in 11 millimeters and that's going to be our hole. 
and then we want 11 millimeters out. Terrible thing to do to your calipers, I know. Okay, so now I've got some lovely um, center punch holes there. So now I'm going to drill these with uh, six mil. Um, basically, I want these to go straight through. Pretty good. Okay. So that's tapped now, and the tripod mount fits. So I've done a little bit off camera, um, I've pre-drilled the four pilot holes in the spacer, I've stripped and cleaned these up, uh, deburred the edges, um, so now what I'm going to do is um, glue this spacer down onto the base here and then use the pilot holes to drill into all the way through and then it'll be a flip over glue this bit down and drill the pilot holes through that What a funky contraption, hey? Right. There we have it. That's a bit of a fun build, really. Um, took all day. The VI three camera wide angle lens replacement plus mount build is complete. Um, the mount itself, um, probably just gonna throw some paint on. Um, I think it needs a little bit of filing back still and um, doing, but I'm pretty happy with that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, the video.